Here's a function you've seen many times before. It's the parabola y equals x squared. And I've sketched a picture of it, of it there. And what we're going to look at in this learning guide is some transformations. We're going to be moving this parabola left, right. We're going to move it up, down. We're going to do a bunch of stretches to it. And we're going to be doing some reflections of the graph. So let's consider what would happen if we took the parabola y equals x squared, and what if we took the x value and replaced it with x minus 2? Okay, so if we took the graph, well, the, the function y equals x squared, if I replace the x with x minus 2, so y equals x minus 2 squared, and enter that in a graph and calculator, and sketch that, let's see what we would get. And we can see it looks exactly the same as the graph y equals x squared, they look exactly the same, except the graph has moved right 2. So all these points, this point used to be negative 1, 1. It's now positive 1, 1. The vertex, which was 0, 0, is now right 2, so 2, 0. So the y values haven't changed at all here, but the x values have all gotten too bigger, or moved the the picture looks like it has been moved right to. So when we replace x with x minus 2, the graph will move right to. And this is true for any function. Well, what will happen now if we replace x with x plus 2? Well, you can probably guess that if we replace x with x minus 2, if that moved it right to, then if we replace x with x plus 2, maybe that will move it left to. And if you put that in your graph and calculator, that function, you will indeed see that this point that used to be here is now here. This point that used to be there is now here. This point gets moved left 2. This point gets moved left 2. This point gets moved left 2. And the graph of y equals x plus 2 squared does look like this. These are called horizontal translations. So in the first example, when we replace x with x minus 2, the graph moved right 2. And when we replace x with x plus 2, the graph moved left 2. So let's review what happens with horizontal translations. If all x values in a function are replaced with x minus 3, so that your equation y equals f of x has become y equals f of x minus 3, then all x coordinates on the graph will increase by 3. This will cause the graph to be moved right 3. And if all x values in a function are replaced with x plus 3, so that y equals f of x has now become y equals f of x plus 3, then all x coordinates on the graph will, re will be reduced by 3. This will cause the graph to be moved left 3. So if you're replacing x with x minus something, it'll move right that amount. And if you replace x with x plus something, it'll move left that same amount. Okay, we've seen what happens when we replace x with x plus 2 or x minus 2. I wonder what would happen to the function if we replaced y with y minus 2. So this would be our new graph here. If we replace y with y minus 2, the graph would look like y minus 2 equals x squared. Now the problem with doing this one in your graphing calculator is you can't put y minus 2 equals. The function has to be defined as y equals. So what we're going to need to do is add 2 to both sides to get the function y equals x squared plus 2. So you need to realize that these are exactly the same functions. y minus 2 equals x squared and y equals x squared plus 2. They're the same function. So let's see what would happen if we graphed y equals x squared plus 2 in our calculators. Well, and this is what we get. Again, the graph looks exactly the same. It's just that everything seems to have moved up 2. So 
So no change to the x values, but the y values have moved up too. So when we replace y with y minus 2, the graph will end up moving up too. You need to be careful. You need to understand that both of these functions are the same. So y minus 2 equals x squared is the same as y equals x squared plus 2. So if you're given the function in this form, and it says what changes have been made to this function compared to this one, just remember you can bring this 2 over here and it'll become a y minus 2. And then you'll know well, y was replaced with y minus 2, so the graph must have moved up 2. And when we replace y with y plus 2, so we have y plus 2 now equals x squared, or in other words, y equals x squared minus 2, when you bring the 2 over to the other side, the graph has also moved, in this case now, down 2. So replacing y with y plus 2 will move the graph down 2. So let's summarize now the transformations, the vertical transformations that can be made to a function. If all y values in a function are replaced with y minus 3, so that the function y equals f of x has now become y minus 3 equals f of x, or if we brought the minus 3 over the other side, it would look like y equals f of x plus 3, then all y coordinates on the graph will increase by 3. This will cause the graph to be moved up 3. And if all y values in a function are replaced with y plus 3, so that your function y equals f of x becomes y plus 3 equals f of x, or moving the 3 over the other side so that it's y equals f of x minus 3, then all the y coordinates on the graph will be reduced by 3. This will cause the graph to be moved down 3. So if you replace y with y minus something, the graph will go up by that amount. And if you replace y with y plus something, the graph will go down by that same amount.